So I'm Hannah, um, and the original photo was taken on my wedding day on the 11th of August 2012 outside St Chrysostom's Church in Manchester. It was just before Dad walked me down the aisle. My sister was heavily pregnant. We were waiting for her to go to the loop before we could go in. So <laughs> we got quite a few shots outside the church before we went in. And the car drivers had taken us on a bit of an interesting route and they were old rickety cars, so it had taken quite a long time. My dad actually was holding my hand the whole way there, which was unusual. And at times I was like, this is a little bit awkward. But I was like, this is a special day, I'm going to let him have his moment. <laughs> and actually, in hindsight, like, I'm really glad because it was special. We didn't know the church before we got married there. We only got married there because our church was being renovated. When I think back to it, I think about like all the nice pictures that we have there and obviously the very special moment <laughs> of getting married there. So yeah, I do like hold it quite dear. And we used to we used to live in a flat around the corner from there. So as I was walking to and from work, um, when we were newly married, I did really enjoy walking past it and like remembering our wedding day. Looking down the aisle at the altar was quite special because, like I said, we've got some really nice pictures of of standing there and, like, the light was shining on us so far we were saying our vows, which is really nice. And, yeah, I guess it was just, like, it brought back memories of the people, where they were sitting and what they were doing during the service and things like that. Incredibly outgoing. One of those people that, like, lights up the room and you couldn't miss him. And uh, if he was in a congregation, then you knew because his voice was booming. He was very enthusiastic in his worship <laughs> about his singing and playing when he was playing. Yeah, just very enthusiastic about everything. Very, like, full of life. Yeah, he was an um, incredibly generous person. And I really, really liked that about him. And so I guess I try and, like, emulate that with other people. I guess, like, he was never shy about saying that he was proud of us or, like, or that he loved us, which, like, sometimes people are a bit shy about doing because you don't always say those things to the people that you love, even if you really do. But um, he, like, quite often if I'd ring him on my way home from work, if I'd had a bit of a tough day, and I'd be, like, telling him about it. He would always, like, finish the conversation by telling me that he was proud of me and that, like, he was really proud of what I was doing. And, and I just find that really, really encouraging. So I guess, like, I'm quite conscious of that and, like, that goes with me. So not only do I know that he was proud of me, but I want, like, my kids to know that I'm really proud of them and stuff as well. Because he was never one that was, like, shy to say what I thought about something. So it's... I guess it's a blessing that I can imagine what he would be thinking or saying about something. The fact that he told me he was proud of me and that he was proud of what I was doing a lot. I know that, especially if I'm struggling, I'm in a bit of a tough time, I know that he'd be saying, like, oh, you're doing really well, kind of thing. And I know that of, like, my siblings as well. Mm -hmm. I know that I can say to them, like, if they're having a bit of a tough time, like, he'd be really proud of you. They have responded quite quite differently I think in some ways so me and my mum are both Christians but my brother and sister aren't so that inherently means that we're going to respond in a different way obviously it's a horrible thing to happen and it was a really horrible time but me and my mum have faith that he is in heaven that he's with Jesus and that he is where he always wanted to be so that is a big comfort but that isn't there for my brother and sister so Obviously, they have dealt with it quite differently and don't necessarily understand how me and my mum particularly have dealt with it. But we have been able to support each other. Like, we don't live anywhere near each other, so that is often, like, from afar, on the text or something. But, yeah, we have quite a good relationship between the three of us. I share a love of gardening with my dad. So one of the things that I've done to, like, remember him as plant roses in the garden because we both really liked roses and we had a conversation about that not that long before he passed away. For other members of my family, like, going to his grave was really important to them and 
I guess it helps them to remember him and somewhere that they go when they want to talk to him or whatever. For me, that's like I've been a few times and like sometimes want to go if it's like a special occasion and we happen to be in Coventry, but it's not something that I feel the need to do particularly a lot. So yeah, there's been definitely been times where different family members have had to like deal with the fact that we're all going to deal with it differently. On the anniversary of his death, we all generally try and do something nice, I guess. We're not often together. In my own family, we definitely try and go and do something nice or something that he would have appreciated or that we used to do with him. In the past, we've been to Dunham Massey on the day because um, I went there with him and my mum um, just two weeks before he died and that's where we were like appreciating the rose garden and talking about how we'd both like to grow more roses and stuff so that's a reason one of the reasons why like I've planted roses in the garden to remember him and stuff and we have a photo of him like just behind the sofa so sometimes if my daughter's like looking at it I'll strike up a bit of conversation with her about him because obviously none of my well one of his grandchildren but there's been another five since then so obviously they don't know him so yeah I guess we like try and have conversations with them about him talk about what he was like and things like that it was a huge shock so I can still remember exactly how that day went I can literally remember the time that it was when I looked at my phone when my mum rang me to tell me so I don't think I've dwelt too much on the fact that like I didn't get a chance to say goodbye because none of us did because it was sudden but I'm just really really thankful for the fact that it just so happened that in the previous few weeks running up to his death there'd been like lots of events and things going on that meant that we'd spent a lot of time together happy times together as a family so although I haven't like dwelt on the fact too much that I didn't get to say goodbye or anything it felt really hard that like everything just suddenly stops the relationship stops things that you thought that you were going to do together just that's it it's not going to happen I think I think that's what I found hardest about that it was less than a year since our wedding day when he died it wasn't that long before our first anniversary so I never envisaged that we were going to spend our first anniversary and him not be around to celebrate with us because he was somebody that like really celebrated things with us very fortunate that the last time that we did spend it with him we were celebrating because my husband had just got a new job and it was something that he'd been praying for about us for a long time and so the last day that we spent together we were like drinking champagne together and stuff so that's a really nice memory to hold on to but I definitely one of the things that I found most sad about it being so sudden was that there was no like I don't know no like there's no lead up to it or anything it was just like that's it you're not gonna see him again or get a chance to do any of these things with him again yeah, so I guess the fact that I have a faith, I think that has, it definitely helped me to see the blessings in things. Definitely at the time, although it was a really horrible time and desperately sad, my faith definitely helped me to see the ways that we were blessed as well in that time because we definitely were, be it through like the people that were around us and things that they were doing for us or even just the way things like played out in the last couple of weeks of his life I think we were hugely blessed in the fact that say it was just after his 60th birthday so he just had a party with people that he wouldn't have seen for years and everyone was together and we just had a family holiday which again we hadn't done for years where he was able to spend time with at the time his only grandchild so yeah, it definitely helped me to have yeah a positive view of things, even though it was a really horrible time. 
my faith in God was definitely a rock during a really, really difficult time. And the fact that he shared that faith with me was really helpful, I think, because I know that that's what he would have wanted. It like comes up from time to time. People will, you know, talk about my parents, assuming that they're still both around, and then I have to say, well, actually, and sometimes they're like, oh, sorry, sorry, and don't really want to talk about it. But I guess people are sometimes surprised by the fact that I am able to talk about it. Like I said, with my friend who's recently lost someone, I really wanted to just be able to say, like, I know some of what you're going through is not the same, but it's horrible and, like, I'm here and this is what I found helpful to know, this is what I found helpful to do, is there anything that I can do to help you, kind of thing. I knew God was with us, that he was working out good things through what was happening and that he's continuing to do that. I mean, just recently, I have a friend who's lost someone very close to her in a similar sort of scenario. And my one of my first thoughts was, well, if I can be a blessing to her and if I can help her through this, then that is definitely something hugely positive to come out of something really sad.